you know, it's a powerful conference. And I think a lot of people need to be able to experience this in person. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of In the Den. Today, I am joined yet again by Jenna Lawson, Director of Events at Roofing.com. Welcome, Jenna. Hi, thank you so much for having me back on the show. I'm so excited for this. Oh, no, I cannot believe it's been almost a year already and RoofCon's mm -hmm. coming back up. So for people who may not know you um, or know RoofCon, can you give us a little bit of, of background on you and RoofCon and what you guys have going on? Yeah, definitely. So my name is Jenna Lawson. I'm the director of events for RoofCon, Revolt, Roofing.com. I started with the company about two years ago, so um, it'll be two years next month. Um, so RoofCon is an annual trade show and conference in the roofing and solar industry. So we're not just a trade show, we're also a leadership conference as well. We're going on year five. We'll be back in Orlando at the Orange County Convention Center from November 9th through the 11th. And it's it continues to grow. What do you think is the driving force behind RoofCon growing and so many contractors wanting to be a part of it? Yeah, I definitely think that the reason why RoofCon continues to grow every year with us just being on year, year five is the content that RoofCon brings and the speakers and the different companies that RoofCon um, brings and showcases. And um, we have them on the floor, we have them attending. But I, I think that the training sessions, the breakout sessions, the vendor floor is definitely the main reason why attendees keep coming back. And it's the amount of value that they're taking away, you know, years down the road after RoofCon. Um, it's definitely centered on networking. I think networking is the number one focus um, and the goal that RoofCon wants, wants to play in, wants to have on, on these attendees is showing the importance of networking. And that's where Roof, RoofCon is all about. It's just bringing people together in the industry. And that's why it continues to grow is the relationship that people build from our event. At conferences and trade shows, they can get a little bit tricky, right? Because contractors come in all shapes and all sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it or how does RoofCon accommodate those small local companies and large enterprise, you know, beast of machines that are built out there? Yeah, so we have companies that have been in, been in business for years, but we also have companies that are just starting out and it's their first trade show they've ever exhibited at, they've ever attended, they're getting their foot in the door um, in the roofing and solar space. So RoofCon is, is a place for everyone. Um, we have companies, like I just said, that have been in business for forever, but we also have companies that just started. And I think that RoofCon really... Um, it, sh it shows the importance of you got to start from somewhere and you need to learn from the best of the best and you need to communicate with these like minded people and with people that have been in business for years and scaled their company and that have grown. So it's all about learning from these companies. So if you're someone that had just started out, it's it's definitely important not to get intimidated because these companies started from somewhere. So RoofCon definitely wants everyone to be there. Um, it's definitely a place to be for everyone, regardless of shape, size, um, amount of money they bring in. It's definitely the place to be. It's the conference. I think it's a great first time conference for everyone. You know, I find a lot of people attend RoofCon. It's their very first show. And because of RoofCon, they attend and exhibit at the big IRE and the, and the bigger events. And I think we do a great job of, of, bringing people in throughout the country and even out of the country um, and showing them that it's okay if you just started out because we all started from somewhere. Yeah. And I think that that's such a big piece of, of networking that we're seeing come about is that people used to be super intimidated, but, but now you have these young entrepreneurs starting from scratch that really want the mentorship and the guidance of a lot of the big players that do attend RoofCon, you know, that have built relationships with roofing.com and Revolt um, and really have some great insight and things to share. And, and you mentioned about how networking is kind of the main focus of the convention. Mm -hmm. What are some unique opportunities that you have available that really help to kind of spearhead that networking? Yeah, you know, with every conference, um, the, the event always does a great job, regardless if it's RoofCon, you know, any other event. Um, events are a great place to, to be able to network with people that you would have never been able to come in contact with, leads that you would have never been able to generate, sales you would have never been able to make if you wouldn't attend trade shows and conferences like RoofCon. Um, we have a Facebook group called the Roofing and Solar Community that has over 25,000 members 
And people will definitely take advantage of this group. You get to network with people from all over the world. And I think that that's on and off the trade show. So that's even after the event before. Um, networking is, is the number one focus of Roofman, like I said earlier. And I think we do a great job in doing, uh, pushing that Facebook group and, and you know telling people this is where you can get answers. This is where you can find the right person in your area. You can learn stuff from people that have been in business for forever. Um, you know, we had, we do have the networking events at the, at the shows. We have the welcome party, the VIP party. That's a great place to be able to have, you know, have some fun and, you know, not just talk business, you know, be personal with people. Um, so we have that. Um, we also have, we use rep card, which is our lead gen app. Um, that's our registration, um, provider. And we have the revolt app. That's the way you can ask questions through the app. That's what we used for our panels last year. So we have all of these tools that are evolved, um, that have are involved with RoofCon, and you can do it before and after the event, not just during the event. And that's why we want to stress the importance of networking and to take advantage of the time that you have with these people that you would have never had before. Yeah, absolutely. And just you had mentioned about from people all over the world. I have a really unique story. So there was a revolt event not too too long ago. And there's a young entrepreneur all the way from South Africa mm -hmm. that attended the event. He met our founder, then yeah. wound up here at one SEO's office, you know, shadowing for, you know, for a day. And he came back mm -hmm. a second day and and he really he's hungry. And that's one thing that Rubcon really does, you know, and even revolt uh, provide to these people is they they give them more meat and potatoes to kind of spearhead their their excitement, that energy that young entrepreneurs have. Um, you know, speaking of excitement, there's a lot of, of new technology that's coming about. Um, can you give us a little bit of sneak peek about any new cutting edge technologies or techniques that might be showcased at the this year's RoofCon? Yeah, so with me being two years into the industry, from the time that I first started to now, it's it's unbelievable how much the industry has evolved with software with roof tech. Roof tech has been, um, you know, such a such a big change. Like there's been a huge change ever since day one with roof tech, and RoofCon, um, you know, exhibitors are bringing their products, they're showcasing it, and they're demonstrating these products that maybe have transitioned to something that they never were before, or they're using RoofCon as a way to launch their new software. And they're really pushing RoofCon and, you know, telling people to come by their booth, sharing the event, and they're, they're launching it there. So I think it's also important for, for people to realize that, you know, the vendor opportunities that trade shows can give you and the way that it can market your, your new products, um, you know, definitely roof tech, that's, we have a roof tech panel this year and that's going to cover a lot of the changes and how it's evolved. Um, you know, I talk to these vendors, you know, every single day and then the salespeople, they bring in new companies and we have a lot of new companies we're going to have exhibiting this year. And I think it's exciting. And with us, um, you know, being roofing and solar, solar is always evolving with um, their products. And I think we're going to see a lot of that. I think that this year we're going to see a lot of just the material changes. We're going to see a lot of software being developed, whether that's with drones being, um, you know, fly, being able to fly over houses and detect tail damage and being able to give you that information without you actually climbing onto the roof. It's crazy how much it's evolved over the years. And it's, it's, I'm excited to see how the industry is going to continue to, but I definitely get it this year, um, roof climb, it's going to showcase a lot of the new software and products with our, with our vendors. Visiting the, the vendor booths is one of my favorite part about any convention and trade shows. For one, I get to meet some of our partners, right? People that we're partnered with and we don't really get to shake hands on a regular basis. So being able to spend some time with them is great. And then also you don't know what you don't know until you realize you don't know it. So mm -hmm. being able to stop by every booth and kind of see what they have to offer is so huge. Now, I do have to admit my second favorite part. Well, last year I got to hear Tim Tebow speak mm -hmm. and that was super exciting. So I need to ask, can who who are some of the keynote speakers and major presentations that we should all be super excited for this year? Yes, I'm absolutely thrilled for this year's speakers. We have um, Gary Chapman. He's actually speaking at our Revolt uh, Retreat in July. He's the author of the Five Love Languages. So he's he'll be speaking on stage just about relationships. Um, and, you know, with, with us being a trade show and a, and a conference, we like to bring in speakers um, like that that can you talk about really the relationships and how you can incorporate that with your business. 
We have Kevin Harrington. He's one of the original sharks on Shark Tank. So I think that's really cool. I've never seen him speak it at an event. And um, so we're excited. We're actually going to have him on um, our podcast and we're going to talk to him before the show. So we're excited about that. Um, and then we'll be announcing our third headliner um, pretty soon. So we're going to have um, a big name for that. Um, but that's the thing about Roof Pond is the reason why it keeps growing is because of this, these, the speakers that we bring in and the big names and um, who we have. You know, that's not obviously not in the industry, but they can bring a lot to the industry by speaking on the leadership and the teamwork. And, you know, Roof Pond centered on the three core values, integrity, leadership and legacy. And we definitely like to bring in headliners that can um, relate to that and speak on that. Um, with our headliners, you know, we also have some great industry speakers that we have on stage. I'm so excited about those. Um, and we also have uh, two women that are going to be giving a giving a talk on stage and doing a doing a long talk. And um, Jen Silver and Jessica Stahl. So I'm so excited, and that just you know goes to show that it's not just a male male industry. And that, you know, we're bringing women and speaking on stage that are in the industry and are so successful. And I think that RoofCon does a great job. And, you know, we're getting, you know, speakers every year that are relating to all demographics. And this year, you know, this is one of our first times that we've had um, women speak on stage and, you know, give a keynote. So it's just, it's, you know, it's evolving. And I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to be down the road. But it's, um, you know, it's a powerful conference. And I think a lot of people need to be able to experience this in person and just to see how it shapes the industry and how yeah. the attendees shape roof gun. Yeah. And a couple of things that you mentioned that I think are super important is a lot of times going to conferences that you the leadership aspect, that motivation is so important because business owners they're so busy working on their businesses day in and day out. And one thing that is sometimes a struggle is keeping your employees motivated, right? Mm -hmm. Keeping them excited for what's next. So being able to go to a conference like this and hear, you know, some huge names, whether it's, you know, Gary Chapman or Tim Tebow, and they talk mm -hmm. about leadership and they talk about motivation, it inspires you to be able to go back and inspire your people. Um, so I really, really love that. And the fact that there's going to be women keynote speakers is mm -hmm. huge because the one thing that I am learning over the past couple of years, you and I are not the only women in this space, right? There's a lot of women that are in home services and in roofing and in contracting. Their voices are just not being heard. So it's really wonderful to kind of see that tide turning and, and women really, truly taking their place um, inside of leadership in these fields. Mm -hmm. Now, going to any conference or any trade show, it, it costs money, right? It takes money, it takes time, it takes effort. So being able to maximize the, the event and get the most out of it is super important. You mentioned Rep Card and you mentioned the Revolt app and all of these tools that you have. What are some other tips that you can give to people who are going to be attending on how they can maximize the event? Yeah, so if it's your first time attending, I would say do at least general admission. I think that general admission is the best first time ticket for everyone. And we are doing free expo tickets this year, and that'll give you access just to the trade show floor to talk to the vendors. Um, but it won't give you access to the breakout sessions. I think we're going to do one breakout session per expo ticket holder, but we'll keep track of that. Um, and we definitely want, want to push the breakout sessions. I think that, that that's so important. And I would stress um, to attend everything that you possibly can. We have you know, three full show days this year, so it's going to be a lot longer than last year. Um, but it's opportunity just to learn, grow, and to network while you're there. So with any conference, um, take advantage of the time that you have there because it is, you know, such a short, short event, but a lot packed into those three days that you have to take advantage of the time that you have there um, to be able to fully execute what you learn at any conference. So I would definitely stress attending the breakout sessions, walking the vendor floor, talking to the vendors learning about the new and emerging technology, um, you know, how, how a company can, can help your company grow. So I think it's important just to take advantage of the time. And, um, you know, it, it's, RoofCon is all about having that balance of the, the fun times and also the, um, you know, being serious during the conference, but RoofCon isn't, yeah. it's, it's not, you know, all serious. And I think that we really want to bring everyone together to have fun, but to also learn and grow. So if this is your first time, 
I would do general admission. If you go, you can do expo and then upgrade if you find yourself wanting to attend these breakout sessions, but definitely take the time to go to these training sessions to learn from these industry professionals. I was going to say those breakout sessions, that's where you actually really get, you know, the tips and the tricks and, and yes. really that, you know, insight that you need. The, the, the keynotes are great for motivation and you get so much value out of that. But those breakout sessions, that's really where the value lies in there. Um, sustainability and eco-friendliness are, are increasingly important, especially in the roofing space. Mm -hmm. What are some things that RoofCon may be doing to help businesses kind of stay ahead of the curve? Yeah, so a company that comes to my mind um, that definitely is very, very eco-friendly, that is it's, it's growing and it's very popular is Euroshield. Um, they exhibit at RoofCon every year. They showcase their product, um, but it's recyclable material. So it's meant to last um Last, last a while and without, you know, the waste and taking it to the landfill. So it's definitely, RoofCon wants to bring in, um, you know, these resources and the types of roofs. And, you know, with us being roofing and solar, we definitely want solar to help bridge the gap between the roofing and solar community because it's all connected. Um, so we want these solar professionals to teach on roofing and we want the roofing professionals to teach, um, you know, how to incorporate roofing into their solar business or vice versa. So it's definitely a relationship builder in that middle ground between roofing and solar. But RoofCon does a great job in bringing in companies from, you know, from all over that like Euroshield that that do this, that are able to make this material um that just names, you know, one, but we have several that, you know, they're, they're eco-friendly. They, they want to promote that, but they also want to promote the longevity of the material. Um, but with us being roofing and solar, it's definitely important to us to have companies um, that promote that and want, want to definitely, you know, have, have people look into maybe going eco-friendly and maybe looking at this material um, versus, you know, using this and just teaching others just the importance of it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we close out this episode, I want to make sure that we tell people how they can secure their spot for RoofCon, you know, how they can find you. But I also want them to, to remember what they could be missing if they choose not to attend. So, I mean, you've got some phenomenal keynote speakers and presenters that are going to be providing so much value and so much motivation. You've got intimate um, you know, breakout sessions that are going to give them a lot of tips and tricks and things that they can go back to their business and implement, you know, right after leaving. You have a wonderful trade show floor full of vendors that, you know, offer different products, different services, different softwares that they need to, to maximize their marketing, to maximize, you know, their employees time and effort and really just help their businesses grow. What am I missing? What else is there that they just need to make sure that they, they attend so that they don't miss out on it? Yeah, you know, something I want to touch on is just the changes that we're making this year to improve from last year. And just every year we want to get better and better. With well, us going on year five, you know, year five is, it's just, it's year five. Like you're, you're halfway to year 10. It's a big deal. Um, you know, last year we changed some things up a bit just to see, um, you know, we wanted the vendors to be able to have the time to go listen to the speakers. But this year we're doing three full show days, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday sequence, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., we're building out the breakout rooms on the floor. So it's not going to be a walk for anybody. You're not going to have to go down the escalators like last year. It's going to be right there. Everything's going to be right there. Um, we did the booth layout strategically with the placement. Um, attendees are going to have to walk through the booths in order to get to the breakout rooms. And we're giving vendors and everyone the option to either remain on the floor when the Chapin Theater or main stage opens at two o'clock every day, or you can stay on the floor. Um, I mean, or, you know, go listen to the speakers, go to the stage. Um, we're definitely making a lot of improvements this year that I think that is, is going to be, it's going to be a driving force to next year and the year following. And I think that everyone should, should attend RoofCon because there's something for absolutely everyone there, whether you're a salesperson, an ops professional, a business owner, um, you're a wife of a business owner. I mean, it's, there's something for everyone there. And whether you don't know a lot about roofing or you're just getting started into the game, RoofCon is all about welcoming people from all different backgrounds um, to come together for this three-day event. And, you know, we do have the speakers that don't touch on roofing. They touch on leadership. So if you're coming to listen to the speakers, you can come and listen to the speakers. I mean, there's, 
there's something for everyone there. And I think that's what makes RootCon so unique is just the power that it brings following the event years, you know, years down the road and the word of mouth that attendees, um, you know, attendees talk and like with well, the testimonials um, from their experience at RootCon, you know, we continue to get better, bigger and better every year. In year five, we have a lot to prove and we're ready to bring it. So if you guys, you know, want to attend, we also are doing a uh, discount code 1STO, 15% off your ticket purchase. So we are doing that, but I, I definitely, you know, think that RootCon is the place to be if you're just getting started or you've been in the industry for a while, there's something for you there. And I promise you that. That's great. Last year was my first year personally. One SEO has been for several years in a row, but it was my first year being able to attend personally. And it was great. So the changes that you just mentioned are only going to enhance it and make it better. There were so many people. Everyone was open to talk and share. And it just, it's a wonderful event to get to know people in your industry and to actually learn from them. Um, the one thing that I can say about a lot of roofers, um, especially people that I met there at RoofCon, is they're not afraid to share what makes them successful. Mm -hmm. There's enough business out there for everybody. So if you don't go for anything at all and you only go for one thing, go to actually mix and mingle with those individuals that are doing what you want to do, that are where you want to be at, um, because they're going to be happy to share. Um, Jenna, I really appreciate you hopping on. For everybody listening, that coupon code was 1SEO, but can you tell them where do they need to go? Is it roofcon.com? Is there another uh, address that they need to go to be able to purchase those tickets? Yes, yeah, so go to roofcon.com. You could look at last year's recap video. You can see some testimonials, learn more about the event, what our schedule overview is looking like. You can look at the different ticket levels, um, which one will give you access to what. Um, and then you can either reach out to the team if you're interested in an exhibiting opportunity or if you want to come as a first time attendee. Um, everything is going to be on that website, including the hotel blocks and just helpful information um, that, that definitely will be beneficial. And I encourage everybody to also check out what Hunter's doing with Revolt and what you guys have going on with roofing.com because there are just so many resources available to contractors out there. Jenna, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you will be on the den again. We appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in Orlando. Thank you so much for your time. Bye, everybody.